Hi, Brittany Washburn here. I'm coming to you today to tell you about an internet safety research project for fifth grade students. My class website, k5elementarytechnology.weebly.com, is where you can go to find all these resources already put together for you. To get to the project that I'm talking about, you'll find your way to fifth grade, third quarter, internet safety project, and I did it as a six week project with my students. That time during third quarter is the perfect time to do a project like this because they're really getting to be good at school. And uh, my schedule was so busy that it just worked to be able to let them do their project and not really have to worry about fifth grade for a few weeks. So goals for this project is that I was having them work in small groups to create internet safety boards which is uh, part of Discovery Education. We had access to it, so they created boards, but you can do this with uh, like a one slide PowerPoint presentation uh, linked to the activities that they're doing. So I had them choose from eight different internet safety topics and they submitted to me their top choices and then I paired, matched them up. Um, it wasn't pairs, it was small groups. So. Um, these are the topics and I let them watch. There are five different videos here to remind them of the topics and a couple of them are mixed together but I decided to separate them into eight topics because I had really big classes the first year I did it and I just liked it enough to continue doing this project each year. So groups of three based on their common interest of topic choice and these video clips will work if you um, link to this page for your class website. You're welcome to use it. I promise I won't change anything. Uh, so watch, have them watch these video clips. Okay, each group has to produce learning activities for the lesson, such as videos, worksheets, vocabulary, games, movie, activities, posters, practice, quiz, puzzles, certificates, or something else. If they decide on something else, I need to approve it. So I approach this in a way Imagine that you're going into a second or third grade classroom. They need to learn about internet safety. What activities would you have them do on your topic to teach them? So I provided them with a few different graphic organizers to help them plan and rubrics for both the project content and the presentation because those are skills that we are required to work on. Um, and then I let them know ahead of time that they would be grading each other's presentations because instead of getting to go into these second and third grade classes, we were just presenting our activities to each other because by this time in fifth grade, I already expect them to be experts on these internet safety topics. This is just a matter of breaking it down and becoming a serious expert on one specific topic. So all of these are um, clickable and you can download those files and you are welcome to use them, um, edit them any way that you need to with your students. So then I gave them some recommended websites for researching their topic like NetSmart's Kids, GCF Learn Free, PBS Kids, there's a specific game, um, I Keep Safe, which has cyberbullying information, and then another link, my group that did Wi-Fi was having trouble, so I added that specific one to give them a little bit of guided research. So I recommended to them that they use QR codes to create one worksheet where all of your information can be stored. Uh, so when they presented it to the class, they'd have that right there. And then of course, if you use QR codes, make sure that somewhere in the directions you let your students know how to use it. <laughs> and then um, some links, this is blank right now, but I had put some other resources down there for the groups that needed a little bit of extra guidance. So this project turned out so well. I absolutely loved how hard these groups worked on it. I checked in with them every few weeks to see how they were progressing, but they really just nailed it. And I was so proud that I did it. This will now be my fourth year that I will do this project and I just think it turns out so well. So I recommend that you uh, link to this page on your website and try out this project yourself. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the blog comments uh, and I'd love to hear how this project goes for you too. All right, thanks for watching.